All right, we're back with prepayments. We're still using Pink Ink 2020. We know that today is December 31st, the year end. It's important to know what date we are standing in when we do adjusting entries. We also know that they record adjusting entries annually, which allows us to calculate the dollar amount of the adjusting entry. And finally, we know the method, the balance sheet method. Let's read number three. The business bought a van on April 1st, 2020 for $60,000. They paid $20,000 cash plus a note payable for the remainder. The van is expected to last 10 years and have no residual value, also called salvage value. The company uses the straight line method. Perfect. Let's move the page down. So we start with an exchange between two parties on April 1st. What did the company get? They got a van which they can use in the future. In fact, they can use it for a full 10 years. So this is a long-lived asset, property, plant and equipment. Debit, equipment, $60,000. What did they give away? Well, first of all, they gave away cash, $20,000. They also gave away a promise to pay the supplier in the future, notes payable, $40,000. Now, does this match our flowchart? Absolutely. We can see we got an asset initially by purchasing it with cash and a liability. Now, as time moves forward to December 31st, the asset is used to help generate revenue. So we have to recognize an expense and a reduction in the asset. Let's calculate the value that's been used or consumed between April 1st and December 31st. How many months is that? April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, nine months. Using the straight line method, we're going to use the formula to calculate the depreciation. 60,000 minus residual value of zero divided by the estimated useful life, 10 years. But this will give us a depreciation for one year. And we didn't use it for one year. We only used it for nine months. So we've got to multiply it times the number of months in use divided by 12. What was the value that was used or consumed during this period? $4,500. So at December 31st, we have to recognize the use of this asset. What did we get? We got the use of the asset to help us generate revenue. Debit depreciation expense, $4,500. What did we give away? Well, we gave away a portion of the asset, but we know we are not permitted to credit the actual asset equipment. Instead, we have to accumulate this in a separate account called accumulated depreciation, a contra account, which goes against the equipment in order to reduce the value of the equipment down to its carrying value. Credit accumulated depreciation. Going to use the short form there, $4,500. If we now looked at the statement of financial position, we would see under assets, the property, plant and equipment grouping. I'm just going to move the page down a bit. There we would list the equipment at its original value, 60,000. In addition, we would deduct the accumulated depreciation. This would allow us to calculate the carrying value of the equipment. This is its future economic benefit. On the income statement, we would see operating expenses, depreciation expense, $4,500. Those two amounts would be reported on the financial statements at December 31st. Does this still match our flowchart? Perfectly. Instead of doing a credit to the asset, we did a credit to the contra asset, but it still goes against the asset account, so it does the exact same thing. Depreciation expense. $4,500.